So let's talk about this. This is not in your book, okay, but this is something that you are going to be expected to know. Right, and it's converting. Uh, why is it that a terminating decimal or a repeating uh, decimal, why is it that those are considered rational numbers? Okay, so I'm going to go through some examples and some steps of showing this. Okay, and then I'm going to have you do a few on your own as well. All right, so these are the steps for converting a terminating decimal into its rational form. So this will demonstrate why decimals that have a definitive end are considered rational numbers. So um, go ahead and uh, let's see. Um, John, give me a uh, decimal. Give me a decimal number with three digits after the decimal. So I'm going to go ahead and go 10.345. All right, so here's a, an example of a uh, terminating decimal. All right, in order to convert this into its rational form, we're going to follow these steps. We're going to write the digits of the number disregarding the decimal point. Okay, so if I look at my digits, I'm just going to write 1, 0, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I don't write the decimal, place, the decimal point anywhere. Right, the second step is we're going to convert this into a rational form, so equal, or sorry, for divided by. And we're going to divide by the place value of this last digit. So the last digit is a 5. What is the place value of that 5? Remember, place values go tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So we're going to divide by 1,000. Okay, and so now using your calculators, I want you to go ahead and uh, do this calculation. If you take this and you just enter what you have, so we take uh, 10345, divide by 1000. Okay, your calculator should automatically simplify it for you. Okay, and you get your rational form of 2069 over 200. Okay, so this shows you that this number, 10.345, does have a rational form. Right, it can be written as a fraction of two integers, 2,069 over 200. And now, in order to confirm that, what we would want to do is we want to go ahead and make sure what is the decimal form of this expression. So if you take your calculator again and you highlight your value, so if you just highlight the 2,069 over 200, Okay, on your calculator, there's a couple different ways to get your calculator to display the decimal form of an answer. Okay, the decimal form is called the approximate form. Okay, the the non-decimal form, so the fraction form or the radical form, is called the exact answer. So if you want an approximate answer, you can either, if your calculator is in auto mode, and we'll talk more about this uh, next class, but if your calculator is in auto mode, whatever form you enter your problem, the calculator is going to display it in that form. So if I want the answer in a decimal, if I just put a decimal point somewhere in my problem and then hit enter, it'll give me the decimal form of that answer. So 10.345. Okay, if I'm in either mode, again, auto, approximate, or exact mode, any of those modes, if I hit this green diamond button, it'll give me my answer in the approximate form. So anytime you hit green diamond and it highlights this little uh, green diamond or this diamond shape here, it'll always give you your answer as a decimal. So if I enter now, again, it confirms that it's in decimal form. Okay. The other way that you can uh, put this into decimal form is a way I do not recommend to you. Okay. I'll, I'll connect to you guys here in a second if it doesn't do it automatically. Okay. The other way that I would, uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you do it this way, but you can change the mode of your calculator completely. Okay. And so if you hit this mode button on your calculator and you scroll to page two, so if you, you can either scroll down all the way or just hit F2 to jump there. And you go down to this second to the last line. You can change whether you're in auto mode, exact mode, or approximate mode. Approximate mode will always give you decimals. The exact mode will never give you decimals. It will always give you fractions or radicals. And auto will give you whatever form you actually enter it in. Okay, so again, I'd recommend you be in auto mode. 